driving along with Vincent Page from Antiques on High and he's just said something that I didn't actually realise was the case and it's really quite interesting. Vince, just repeat to me, what is Antiques on High? Well, essentially, and I do find this a little bit amusing, is the largest high street antique retailer in the country. In the country? Yeah. The largest antiques retailer in the country, so the biggest chain of antique centres is owned by him, Vincent Page. That's, um, how many have you got? There's, there's only four. Four? And it's the largest in the country? Yeah. And how I, do you work I, that I, out? I do find, well, because nobody else has got four antique centres. It's, <laughs> <laughs> I still find it strange because there's no other industry sector yeah. that is, a, is currently trading where four shops makes it the largest. Isn't that brilliant though? Oh, it's amazing, yeah. I, I mean, mean, it's great. But I still find it odd that four shops makes us yes. the biggest. And why is that, do you think? Why has it never been done before? I don't know. I think traditionally, um, antique centres are very um, set in their ways in terms of the way they operate. And I think an awful lot of uh, antique centres in general are run by usually, and I'm sure somebody will contradict me on this, but they're usually run by people who've had a job they like antiques, it's their hobby, they're quite serious about it and then they find themselves being made redundant so they take a little shop down the road and it progresses from there but it doesn't progress any further than the shop down the road oh, uh, uh, th That is one reason, but I I've got another one for you because as someone who's been in the antiques business for a very long time yeah. and had shops I tried very many years ago to have three antique shops they weren't centres. My shop, which was successful, opened yeah. another and another, and I put people in the shops to run the shops. And I soon discovered that the only time anything was ever sold was when I was in the shop. Every time I left a shop with a manager, basically nothing happened. So I discovered that people like to buy antiques from the owner, the person that knew all about them and all of that. Like a very touchy-feely, one-to-one -one personal experience. But I think the antique centre model is a different being, different monster, because you've got how many dealers? A couple of hundred dealers amongst all of your four? Um, and I think it's, it's just probably, very different yeah. to an, an owner-runner yeah. of an antique I, I think, shop. I think the, 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 the core matter is, uh, and as you pointed out, you put managers in. Yeah. Now we part of our structure is if somebody takes a cabinet in any shop or they take space, they work two days a month in the shop. There you go. That's so it then, isn't it? Th there is a, a, an inherited interest. Yeah. In them making it work for themselves. Yeah. They also learn what is selling, what isn't selling, and it brings them that little step closer because a lot of a lot of antique dealers. Um, who move into antique centres, they do it because they like the idea of being just a, a step back from the public. And they like the idea of just phoning up and how much have I sold this week, how much have I sold this month. So in order to get them to understand just a little bit more what actually sells, it's very easy to look at um, a spreadsheet or an envelope, etc. and see what's actually sold that month. But when you've actually sold it to the person, you've spoken to the person, you understand what they want, what they're looking for, it brings you that much closer to the need and the desire and what they may be looking for in the future. Okay, so it's this dealer thing. So the person that's running the store on the day in, in, in any one of your antique centres is generally an antique dealer. And I think that's where I went wrong. I was putting in managers who didn't know very much about the stock and I think people buy from people who are knowledgeable and passionate and if you've got an antiques dealer running it it's in his benefit to sell for you for me for everyone else because then others will sell for them so there you go that's where I went wrong for years I went wrong <laughs> story of my life him Vincent Page he's got it right the biggest chain of antique centers in the United Kingdom. And there's another one coming soon as well. We've got, we've uh, agreed terms for a fifth one. I know. He still hasn't told me where. 
keep your eyes open.